morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whenever you might be watching this. Today we're going to make turnips. Uh, well, okay, we're going to make rutabaga. Uh, well, let's make rutabaga and turnips. <laughs> okay, folks. Let's get something straight here. I am an American. I may have been born in Germany, but I'm an American. And I eat rutabaga. And I eat turnips. Now, where I live in Arkansas, uh, rutabaga is a little bit harder to find. Turnips usually come in a bag like this from the grocery store. Um, usually there's um, not any tops. If they are loose and if they, they do have their tops, you can eat the tops. Now, rutabaga, and it, you know, it's generic little turnip here. Now, rutabaga. Rutabaga it's a turnip. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a turnip. But I am in Arkansas, United States. I call it a rutabaga. Now, if you lived in uh, England, Scotland, Wales, whatever, you might call this a Swede or a Neep or a, a yellow turnip uh, or yellow top is it yellow top turnip I forget uh, if you're in Germany you might call this a rutabaga too uh, when you find these in the grocery store they usually don't have their tops if they have their tops you can eat the tops they're usually covered with this waxy stuff see that I don't know how well you can see that but they're usually covered in the waxy stuff. Now, if they're not covered in the waxy stuff, you can eat the skin and you can eat the tops. Turnips are usually uh, just sold like this. Uh, you can eat the tops on these. Uh, I've never seen them with wax or anything. Uh, if you have a farmer's market close by, uh, you, you know, you might find these without this waxy, nasty stuff. But any way in any any style that you cook potatoes you could cook rutabaga any way any style you cook potatoes you can cook turnips we're talking french fries mashed boiled stews soup uh, raw if that's your thing, um, grated in your salad, they're really actually delicious. <laughs> uh, like I said, on both of these, you can eat the tops. If it wasn't for this waxy uh, coating, you could eat the skin. Uh, a turnip has a little bit of a skin, not much, but you can eat the skin on it. Uh, rutabaga, you got to work for this baby here. Let me tell you, he is, he's hard, <laughs> he's hard to cut, <laughs> but for all intents and, intents and purposes, any way you cook potatoes, you can cook turnips and rutabaga. Today, just so happens, I'm going to put them in my crock pot and stew them. So let's get with it and cut these open. Okay, now that I've got them peeled, and like I said, you do not have to peel these. The rutabaga, can you tell the difference now? See, here's the two rutabagas, and here's the uh, turnips. The rutabaga usually comes uh, with uh, that waxy stuff on it. So you have to take, you have to peel it to get the waxy stuff off. But these are root vegetables, y'all. They sit in the ground. They get manure. Uh, <laughs> a little 
little critters and everything else walking all over them. You got, uh, uh, if you don't scrub them really good, then you've got to peel them. So next we're going to cut them up. Okay, y'all, I've got them cut up. Now, can you see the difference still? These are yellowy, uh, orangey. Uh, sometimes they're darker. These are the rutabaga. Here's the turnips. Uh, you know, there's different kinds of turnips. These happen to be the generic purple top turnips. Uh, these happen to be just generic rutabagas. But there's something I found when I was chopping these up that I want to bring to your attention. Have you ever had a turnip? They say uh, it's, I, I, I'm not quite sure if it got too much water or whatever, but they, it's woody inside. Well, be, turnips and, well, they're turnips. Rutabagas can, I don't know if you can see that, but there is like, uh, oh, for lack of a better word, there's a design in there. <laughs> anyway, rutabaga, it's a turnip, can get just like a turnip, a regular purple top turnip. It can get woody inside. To me, I don't have a problem with that. Some people might. Now, you might say, well, what does rutabaga taste like? Well, rutabaga tastes like a turnip. Uh... The compare to compare it there. Uh, how do green onions and plain bulb onions and leeks? They're all basically onions. Uh, they're in that onion family, but they have their own little flavor. Well, rutabaga and turnips are the same way. They're all that turnip family. But there's a little bit of a difference in flavor. If you like turnips, you'll like rutabaga. If you like rutabaga, you'll like turnips. Uh, but, you know, to each his own. So, now I'm going to put these in my crock pot, and I'll show you the spices I'm going to add. Okay, y'all. Now, in my crock pot, I don't want to put just water. So, I'm going to add some black pepper, and that's about a half teaspoon of black pepper. I'm going to add about a half teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add about a oh, teaspoon of garlic. Don't tell Ernie. <laughs> and I'm going to put about a teaspoon of uh, onion powder. So that's the spices I'm using today. Y'all, I'm going to add something else here. Uh, turnips and rutabaga go great with beef dishes. They can really go with any dish, fish, uh, uh, chicken, uh, what have you, veal, what have you. But uh, I'm going to add three bouillon cubes, beef bouillon cubes. Now, rutabagas and turnips go with any uh, meat, but uh, I feel like having them beef flavored today. Y'all, I put some water in there, and I... I think I got it a little full, so I put some in a freezer bag here, and I'm going to pop these in the freezer. Of course, they're raw. That, that doesn't hurt them, and I'll uh, just cook them some other time. But here they are with the bouillon and all the spices. Now, if I wasn't worried about how long it took them to cook, uh, I just put it on low and let it set. Uh, I want to eat these today. <laughs> I'm going to put them on high, and how long is it going to take these to cook? Well, turnips and rutabaga cook about the same length of time, uh, take the same length of time as, say, potatoes or carrots. Uh, but they do take a wee bit longer. So if you were going to cook potatoes or carrots for, let's say, 20 minutes, then you'd cook these for 25. But um, I'll just test them and see when they're done and um, show you what they look like. So there they, oops, there they go. Crock pot on high. We'll be back when they're done. Okay, y'all, I don't know how long it's been on. I 
to be truthful, I forgot all about it. So, here we go. Now, you can still see the difference between the rutabaga and the turnips. So, let me serve Ernie up some and he can do his official taste test. Okay, y'all, I served Ernie up some. Now, notice the juice is nice and uh, dark from the uh, beef bouillon that I added. Ooh, oops, oops. Okay, and then here we go. Now, this is really hot, Ernie. Be careful. So, go ahead and do your official taste test. See how you like them spices on there. So what do you think? Look, y'all, you can still tell the difference between the turnips and the, the neeps, the, the rutabaga. So what do you think? Nice. Nice, isn't it? <laughs> so there you go, y'all. Whatever you want to call it, you want to call it a turnip, you want to call it a rutabaga, you want to call it a neep, you want to call it a swede. It's good stuff. So thanks for watching, y'all. And remember... Any way you make potatoes, you can make turnips, you can make rutabaga. Fry them how it, raw. Try them raw. But this is the way I like to make them. Easy, lazy way. <laughs> Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye.